Okay, guys. Um. So, apologies for making this video in advance. As you can see, every muscle in my body is so sore. It's taking me time to even speak and I'm I'm pushing out the words I have severe PTSD <clears throat> and uh, if you can see no that that's just paint but as you can see, my muscles and my hand, it's like shaking, uh, they're spasming all over. And um, like it hurts to even like try to rub and touch them. Um, the only thing that helps it is weight. Um, and I, I mean, I, I tried, you know, taking a hot shower. I figured that would help a little bit, too. I just smoked, like, a whole bowl to myself. <clears throat> I'm still in pain. I'm still in, like, severe pain. It's starting to numb it out. But I'm in severe, I mean severe pain. Like, I don't think people realize how bad it is. It is not just physical, it's, it's emotional, too. And it's like a rolling nightmare of flashbacks and physical muscle spasms and pain. I don't feel like this every day now. Like, sometimes the medication that the doctors prescribe me, it helps. But... Sometimes there are just these like flare-ups and I'm in so much pain I like I can barely move right now so I also decided to make this video to be like guys I'm so sorry I can't do any covers or anything really intensive today and I figured I'd use this opportunity to talk about my my illness and a little bit about why I have it not all not every detail because it's personal but I mean all I'll say is I was raped at a very young age um, from the time I was 8 to the time I was 13 so it's it's been a nightmare and I can't even like look at the camera right now because that's how hard it is to talk about so I'm yeah I'm looking away and I'm looking down and I'm ashamed and I'm embarrassed and it sucks because art's my therapy you know and I can't do it today and that really hurts and that's very difficult so I guess this is a this is one of those difficult days, and the doctors always say, you know, there's going to be good days and there's going to be bad days. <sighs> and I, I use I use marijuana to deal with it medicinally, which is also part of a good. It's like a good topic to talk about. I think, you know, like legalize it, people. How, how fucking hard is that? Can you see? Like, are, do you see that? That's not me moving my arm. That's the muscles in my arm spasming right now. And there's some in my back, like right here. Oh, too. And sometimes cracking it helps, and sometimes it makes it worse.
so it's not even a joint thing it's like a whole body thing it's your joints it's your muscles it's it's your mind it's everything it's every form of pain that, that you just you're feeling every form of pain at once it's like living in a waking fucking nightmare and I won't I refuse to be put on like Xanax and Vikes and and Oxys because I know that'll that could easily turn into a very dangerous nasty lethal addiction that I don't honestly want to be a part of weed is safer than that weed is good for that and it deals with all of that if I take an oxy all it's gonna do is it's gonna get rid of the pain but then it's gonna knock my ass out I'm gonna be passed out like some people would say oh well won't we do the same won't it make you drowsy uh not as bad as a fucking Vicodin not as bad as a fucking oxy it is not harsh if I do sleep also it's like well your tolerance is it goes up as you use it if I do sleep it's good sleep like it's not harsh it's not like I'm being knocked out it's easy gradual I, f I slip into it nice and easy and then I wake up feeling refreshed nice and easy and I don't sleep for a fucking long time and I know I figured I'd give my testimony about it because maybe that'll help maybe that'll help people you know work harder to make this new legislation or whatever work better because right now it's not working like it's there's so many stupid fucking red hoops that you got to go through as a doctor just to be able to prescribe it that no doctor is prescribing it and that's not legalizing medical marijuana that's a con that's like oh yeah we'll do it but you can't do it unless and it costs tons of money for them to even get this license like but you don't need an, a special specific license to prescribe something that lethal like oxycoding that's what's alarming for me and then people are getting addicted to it and ODing and killing themselves left and right like do you guys not understand how how bad this has gotten? I don't know. It is. I feel like it's time for a very severe change that needs to take immediate action. Like medical marijuana needs to be legalized on a federal scale. This is not acceptable. This is not okay. And people wonder why people freak out and snap and shoot up schools. Like, it's not right. I feel betrayed. I feel abandoned by my government and the people who are supposed to make medicine and be making people better and instead they're making medicine to make people sick so they can make a better profit and I'm dying while they're doing it and so are you, your loved ones, your family members, everybody facing and struggling with things like this it's not acceptable So, I don't know. I hope this, like, reaches people. And if it does, and, like, you relate, and you agree, maybe you don't. Or, you know, maybe hopefully it'll get you to maybe look at the issue more closely. Maybe. I mean, it's an herb. 
is an all-natural plant. And they're trying to tell you that putting a harsh chemical that will make you severely addicted and ill is better for you? No. Unacceptable. Un-fucking- acceptable and um I'm gonna go cause I'm I'm just gonna upset myself more and then it'll get worse and I can already feel it getting worse in my back and I'm just gonna let you guys go before I start bawling but um subscribe and you know maybe we can do something to get this fixed together if you agree and feel the same anyway pray for me hope I feel better Eddie out